I've been setting up this new bike. It's um, a Canadian designed bike called the Argon 18 Gallium Pro. So it's a climbing bike. It's lightweight. It comes complete with the Burmese cat. Anyway, um, yeah, it's great. It's uh, with the uh, Campy Super Record EPS version 3, the latest version. It's under 14 pounds wet, including power tap and the hub. It's an older power tap too, so uh, it weighs about 100 grams more than the, the latest model. Uh, and I was just going through dialing in the EPS software, and um, it's clear to me that the instructions that are available aren't aren't sufficient. So I'm uh, wading in where I probably shouldn't. So um, mode buttons to put this thing into uh, setup mode. You know, there's a mode button on each side, and um, there's a couple of different steps to take um, that Campy outlines and there's a couple videos on it but briefly hold both buttons at the same time for six seconds and uh, it goes into the zero setting mode um, and then what I recommend is uh, you're supposed to adjust you start on the small sprocket so you start at, not where I've got it set but you start in the, high, the large ring move in the rear derailleur to the smallest bracket and then go into the zero setting mode and then manually move it over using the uh, the shifters to get to the um, uh, second smallest bracket and do your tuning there. My recommendation is rather than just eyeballing it and saying you know am I centered uh, with the derailleur in the middle of the cog is to actually bias it very very slightly off further um, to the edge. So rather than having it absolutely dead nut center, for me at least, it was better to get it centered and then tap tap the uh, the shift lever once or twice to just move it slightly further to the right. And then when you then do the zero setting on the second innermost cog, same thing, biasing it ever so slightly to the inside. And um, the other thing is to set the rear derailleur height at five to seven millimeter gap. So that's when you use the small ring and you use the screw down on the inside here. And um, I would actually get that adjustment done first because uh, it, it definitely affects how the, how, how the shifting feels. If you're playing with it to see, you know, you finish, uh, you tap the mode button after each of the uh, setting phases and tap it again to, to save your settings for the rear and then you go and you do your testing couple things. One, make sure that height adjustment is done first so that um, you're not complaining that uh, there's something weird with the shifting. Uh, it does make a difference in how crisp and accurate it grabs. And the other thing is um, do it under a bit of load. So I can, you know, slap this wheel on and put a bit of load on and it changes how the shifting occurs. And uh, the other alternative is to, to use the, um, the rear brake. So just put a little bit of brake pressure on. It's gonna it's gonna change how the rear derailleur responds and how it feels. Um, and then the last thing is really when it comes to the rear derailleur in particular is um, to go into ride setting. So just hold one of the mode buttons down for six seconds, and then do a bit of fine tuning um, if you've got issues. So rather than running through the zero settings multiple times if you don't think you got it dialed because it's a bit of a hit and miss thing, um, is to try to fine tune it. Just remembering that your ride setting does get erased if you zero set. So go into the ride settings, bump it, the lever back and forth. So for instance, I, I did the zero setting three times and never got it absolutely perfect. Um, you know, for all combinations of big and small ring and, um, you know, all the full gear ranges. And then I fine-tuned it just ever so slightly with the ride settings and then it was dialed. So definitely don't panic if you can't get it quite right with the zero settings alone. <laughs> Um, on the front derailleur, just a quick comment, um, campies it seems from reading on the internet, um, if you go to smaller compact chain ring, I have a 3450 here, I've also got a um, 3652 I'm going to put on a little later, so as my functional threshold power gets up to 260, 270, down from where it currently is in the 240 range, I will move to, to um, a bigger bigger ring set. But when you use the smaller ring sets, Campy is famous for throwing chains. And um, in this case, the way I got this thing dialed was to do two things. One, there is a pivot, so you can just loosen this um, bolt, take it out, 
and then you can get access to the two mounting holes on the V3 at least. I think the V2 and the V3 are probably the same. And then you can pivot back and forth. So I've got the curvature of the front derailleur following the smaller rings. Normally it would be up a little bit with a bigger gear. And um, and I've got it set just below three millimeters, like about two and a half uh, millimeters. If you're down, it, it says one to three, but or one and a half to three. Um, anything more than three, it's easy to throw the chain because there's too much of a gap. And anything smaller than two, it seems to be really doesn't like to shift. It just fights you like crazy. Um, but a couple things, um, you, you know, you set to, when you zero set to this, you're supposed to go for the half millimeter gap. So big ring in the back, sorry, big socket in the back, small ring in the front. And then you look, you tune it until you get to a half a millimeter gap and then you're done, supposedly. Well, um, just a couple things. One, you may, if you're throwing a chain or you're having difficulty with, uh, with things, you may want to increase that inside gap closer to a millimeter. So three quarters of a millimeter or so. So just play with that a little bit. Uh, don't, don't use the half mil as an absolute gospel. It, obviously, if it's too far over to the left, it's not going to want to shift up. Um, but you want to make sure that you're, you don't have this, um, the front derailleur too far over, or it's definitely going to throw the chain on occasion on you, which is the campy devil uh, peering and driving you crazy. So, um, you know, I'm not a pro uh, campy guy. This is just me, an electrical engineer, old guy, been around bikes for a while, fiddling. And, um, you know, I hate taking bikes in and having other guys have to fiddle with my bike and lose half a day every time. So learn how to do this yourself. Don't be afraid to fiddle. And uh, if you do get too far or over your head, then you can always take your bike in, obviously. But I found that um, this was a lot easier to set up than a mechanical group set. And uh, I recommend a little bit of fiddling with derailleur height and, um, you know, make sure it's, it's parallel to the back surface of the uh, derailleur should should be parallel. It's easier to do when it's in the low ring setting um, and you can see that it's absolutely parallel. And just be a last thing is this, when you tighten this, um, because this is a plastic mounting, it, uh, it'll twist a little bit on you so just you, you can have to hold it a little bit and as you tighten you'll find it'll move on you a little bit and you just gotta kind of preset it so that when it tightens it moves into the position you want it to be in and don't over tighten it and uh, just recognize that it is plastic and carbon and it uh, may be light but it's not as stiff as it should be so um, there you go hope that helps you guys